Good morning, welcome to chapel on this sunny morning, second in this swing of sun that uh, Joe Snedeker promises. Enjoy it. Today we are going to do some academic recognitions and we're going to start with 4.0. Um, so during each semester, we like to recognize our full-time undergraduate students who completed the previous semester with a 4.0 average. If your name is on the list behind me, we want to honor you for this significant achievement and congratulate you on your academic success. As a token of your effort, we have 4.0 mugs that are available for pickup in the academic office on the third floor. Stop by in the next couple days to pick up your mug. And if you work very hard, you can have an entire set for when you have your first apartment. Whenever you use your mug, make sure you are reminded of the value of discipline and of hard work, and that it's all for Jesus, and in all things, he is to be honored. So congratulations. It's an achievement. Also, once a semester, we induct students into CSU's Honor Society, Alpha Gamma Epsilon. That's taken from the Greek alphabet, and these letters represent love, knowledge, and self-discipline. Students who are inducted into Alpha Gamma Epsilon must be degree-seeking students who have completed 57 credit hours at CSU with a 3.4 or better cumulative average. They must also be approved by faculty as students with strong Christian character who support the standards, ideals, and mission of our school. So in recognition of your high academic achievement, your integrity, and your character, it is my pleasure to officially induct the following students into the Alpha Gamelon uh, Epsilon Society. So students, as your name is read, please you make way to the stage where we will give you a special certificate. And after that, please go to court number two to have your picture taken. Okay, kids stand please. Ben Jamin Burchell. Serena Calderon. Jaden Demerly. Owen Milham. Donna Oaks. Grace Pometer. <laughs> Abigail Raymond. <laughs> Cody Slayton. Aaron Tripp. Everett Pillbeam and Everett. Caroline Winkle. <laughs> Would Ben Carver, Jess Jessica Pahosky, Mark Prelo? Riley Doggart and Paul Graves, just please stand. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> These are the five students who will be representing us this coming week at the ABHE convention and the Our Daily Breads um, 
I guess it's a conference called Reclaim Today Writing Intensive Seminar. They have submitted work to Reclaim Today. They are five of 30 students across America who have been chosen. Their sponsor is Mrs. Sarah Scranta, and they'll be heading to, get this, Orlando, Florida, for three intensive days and a little bit of poolside, if what Lydia Peters did last year is any indication, of work writing devotional for young people as a part of this Reclaim Today movement, and we are very proud of them. And then one last thing, Mrs. Scranta is also the sponsor for our online magazine, Vantage. And she is a judge for the NCTE, National Council of Teachers of English for the high school division, and has submitted our magazine to the college division. And this is the second year in a row that Vantage has won an award in the Realm series, and they won an honorable mention. And this is phenomenal because this is an organization that does not espouse the name of Christ. And yet they saw excellence in Christian young writers and photographers and artists and layout folk. And we are just praising the Lord for their accomplishment. Let's, let's uh, cheer for Vantage, shall we?